It is that time of year where it's time to get your booty beach ready. And to help us do that is Bikini Boss, Teresa De Pasquale. Teresa, how are you? I'm doing really well, how are you? Oh, I'm so excited you're back. It's been a while. Last time we, we did a segment, I was still pregnant, so I couldn't yes. do a lot. So today, I'm in the workout gear. I'm excited, I, I see the learn. shoes, we got everything, we're ready. We are ready. So let's talk, <laughs> let's talk booty. I mean, it is the thing that women really want yep. to, to have kind of emphasized, if it's you like, will. It's like the unicorn. Corn, right? Every, you see it and you're like, how do I, how do I get that? How do I do it? Well, help us, Teresa. Give us some ideas of okay. what we can do at home. So what I'm here to talk about today is my top booty shaping tips, all right? And I think um, one of the first things that women don't realize is what's so important when you're talking about building and shaping a booty is that you need to stretch your hip flexors. Oh. Because basically your legs work, so your hip flexors kind of make your legs go like this and okay. your glutes make your legs go like this. Okay. So if these muscles are tight from chronically going like this from flexion, then basically what's gonna happen, it's gonna inhibit your glutes from firing. So when you go to the gym and work out, they're not gonna fire properly. Interesting. So a really good booty shaping tip is to always make sure you're stretching your hip flexors. And this is something you can do at home. You can do it post-workout at the gym. I tell my girls to do it all the time. Okay. So, and here's a really common um, hip flexor stretch. You can Google them on YouTube too. It's super easy to find them. But like, it's, a, it's kind of like a yoga pose. Okay. Have you ever seen like the, oh, the yeah. running man pose just like this? Yep. Yes. So you're going to get down and if this is too intense at first because it is, you're going to start feeling a stretch. Right? Oh, absolutely. You can kind of put your leg down and do a beginner and then you can kind of come up to intermediate and then if you get really advanced, you can start getting real low or you can come up like this. Yeah. And get like a really good stretch up here like this. Okay. And you should be feeling it right here. These are your hip flexors. Oh yeah. One oh, thing oh, also yeah. too, when you're stretching like this is make sure you're squeezing the back glute because that's going to really open up your hip flexors. Okay. Huh. So that's so, number one. I'll say this is the first time that I've gotten down like this since baby, so I might not get up there. <laughs> I was gonna say, do we need help? Okay, um, tip number two. And so what is the first thing most people think about when they go to the gym to work their glutes is squats. Yes. You always hear squats, yeah, squats, yes. squats. Squats are great. I'm not saying don't do squats, but I'm saying if you really wanna shape your butt, you have to do other exercises as well to work your stabilizer muscles. Okay, okay. and your stabilizers are the glute medius and glute minimus out here, and that's what's gonna help make it round in this nice little curve right here, okay? okay. So things that work your glute medius and minimus are going to be exercises, which we'll demonstrate at the end here, which is abduction, which is your legs kind of going like this. Oh, okay. okay. It's a little so different. Not, exactly. So not just squatting, but actually doing things that make your legs go in this direction. Okay. okay. And we'll talk about a couple at the end. Yes. Lastly, you want to make sure you're working your booty after every workout. So I think a lot of people have a misconception when you talk about weightlifting that you can only lift weights like once a week for every body part. Well, when you're talking about working your glutes, because people have chronically tight hip flexors from mm -hmm. sitting, standing, driving in their car, sitting at a computer Oh, I can tell day. I just did even just from bending down exactly. like that. So you have to constantly work your glutes to try to correct the issue. Okay. So by not using really heavy weight, you can do it every day. Okay. So add them to the end of your workout. And so, uh, basically what I tell my girls is if you add like a three sets of 30, 20 to 30 reps each, of any different kind of glute exercise, you'll be golden and you'll start so to see a really big change. Three sets of 20 to 30 mm -hmm. just at the end of the workout. What yeah. are, what's an example if so you So we're will. gonna go through a couple. So if you wanna grab your band. Yes. So these are really great. You can get them, I got these on Amazon um, or you can get them at the store or wherever. Um, and they're really cheap. You can bring them in your suitcase when you travel. You can do them at the gym or at home. Okay. And they're great for glute exercises. So you're just gonna put this kind of around here. Okay, so the first one we'll do is uh, walking abductions with the band. Okay. So you want to keep tension. Don't let your feet go in. And we're just going to use your hips and kind of go to the side like this. Okay, so you're going to walk one way and then you're going to go the other direction. And usually you can just Ooh, do. Ooh, baby, I feel that on my feel side. Hips, right? So we're working your stabilizers here. Yes. You're going to feel it on both sides because as you're using this one, you're stabilizing with this. So it's a very effective glute workout. Okay. okay, and now I gotta ask too before, and I don't wanna run out of time because I know we've got one more exercise. Yep. But the thing I always worry about is doing these workouts, some people don't want their booty to get bigger. I might be in that category. What's the difference between making it get larger or just kind of firming? Well, are these all firming about exercises? Is shaping. Exactly, shaping. these okay. are toning. So in order to get really bigger, you'd have to do very heavy weight and eat you yeah. know, a certain amount no. of food. So what we're working on is shaping your butt so it looks nice. Okay, okay. you wanna lift and shape, that's my goal. Um, this is something we talk about in my book. I have the booty, it's a booty repair program. It's yes. to help open your hip flexors and to really shape your glutes and to get them to start perking up. Okay, okay. I'll say, so, so what's the next, what's the last the exercises one, we're getting around so here? You can also here. do this if you wanna pull it up around your knees. When you do squats, what really helps to use your um, stabilizer muscles is to drive your knees out and not let the band come in. So it keeps you very focused on driving your knees out. See how you do this? Yep, so you'll feel your glutes now really firing once you start using these bands during your squats. 
Just so like doing that. these squats in combination with the with, with the, the walk bands. to the side yeah. with the band, Both yep. With the band, and then there's other exercises too. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can add in. Um, there's a lot of jumping exercises you can add in. Um, things like squat jacks. Oh yeah. So see how you're gonna be hitting your glutes this way. And are those really always good to do at the end of a workout? Yeah, you can I do was to say, yeah. th does this fall into that category of end of the workout ones? <laughs> well, it's plyometric, so you're gonna be tired. So you, I mean, you're gonna be doing it. I would push yourself to do it definitely. I like to do mine in the beginning. Okay. I want to get it done and really push myself and go all out and then okay. kind of lead in. Yep. Well, we are in close. Again, you brought up your book, yes. Boss to Bikini. And again, the three secrets that we've talked about will be on your screen right there. Stretch those hip flexors, do more squats. And there you have it. Work your booty every workout. Teresa, we always appreciate having you back. Happy to be here. And this really is the uh, just the first of a two-part series. So you're going to be coming back to do some more workouts awesome. to get that beach body ready. Yep. Thank you again. You're welcome.